Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to another Planters Zombies plush unboxing. Can you believe it? I'm pretty sure we're at like nine or something. I don't know. It's, we've gone through a lot and somehow we're at this amount of Planter Zombies plush unboxing. Now yeah, you might see some plushes in the background, no big deal. Um, right now we're gonna do an unboxing. Um, it will have five plushes in it. As far as I, yeah, five plushes in it, two plants, three zombies. Let's get into it. First off, with the zombies. So, let's do this. So the first one we got is Cowboy Zombie. He's a pretty cool dude, and obviously right now he doesn't look too great. But if you just wait, then you can see that he can be adjusted like. For example, mine has a flappy part of his hat. I don't know why, but, um, yeah. So, for the review, I guess, the hat is very nice. It is attached to him. You can see how it's not fully attached, so it might fall off. Uh, it is a little flappy, like that you saw before, so sometimes I have to put it down like that. Um, suction cup on the top. Has the regular zombie face. Um, has this little poncho thing, I think. And the uh, brown coat. Sometimes this will get like further along to his hand for some reason. So I usually just have to, you know, pull it away from its hands and stuff. Uh, it's got the red pants for all of you weirdos out there. Yes, I'm pretty sure they do come off. And uh, the boots. The boots are very nice detailed. Yeah. Not much to say about this guy. He is a cowboy oh yeah partner so let's go on to the second one. Oh, there we go so the second one is a beach flag zombie really the only official flag zombie well official in parentheses I guess anyways let's go on to the review for this beach flag zombie so regular face just a little bit different. I'm pretty sure he's missing one of the little wrinkles up there. Uh, yeah, his coat is on. Sometimes he has the same problem that I have with uh, the other guy, so I just have to pull it back so then it doesn't look weird. Maybe I'll sew it together, I don't know. Um, yeah, the pants for all you people out there, I guess. I'm pretty sure they do come off, unless Nope, the back, the mat, the back makes it so then you guys cannot take off its pants, okay? Uh, the, the feet are a different material, just like, uh, the torso right here. The feet are a different material than the legs, but, um, I do like the detail of one of the legs being crooked and the other being straight, just to show that they're a zombie, you know? Uh, sandals are good. I'm pretty sure you can't. Maybe you can take them off. I don't know. I'm not going to try because I don't want to try to put it back on. And the biggest part about this zombie, the flag. Obviously, the flag is going to be a little floppy. I mean, it's not going to be amazing. Uh, you can see that it's holding onto it right there. One problem I ran into it is that right here, as you can see, I had to staple the flag onto it. Not the best choice, I guess, for me to do, but whatever, it's my plush. Um, it's because it was falling off, so I had to staple it, so you just a heads up, I guess, for the flag zombie, because sometimes the, the flag will not be fully on the stick, so yeah. But before we go on to the third and final zombie, I would like to show some DLC partner that doesn't make any sense there is no downloadable content for plush okay what i was meaning is some things that i made specifically for these plushes and i mean i'm gonna show them to you and you're gonna be confused and you know what um i i don't care so i spent a good amount of time on them both of them have their respective custom made flags uh for this guy, he has a flag that you could probably see that it's Texas. And for this guy, he has a flag that you can obviously see is Florida. 
Now, you might be wondering, huh, why? Um, quite simply, just because, you know, v vacation. Anyways, let's go on to zombie number three. All right, this zombie is pretty epic. It is the pirate zombie. And well, it's pretty epic, but there are some things that are a little strange about it. Let's get into it. First off, his hat looks really weird. Um, I'm pretty sure that didn't come with it. Um, the hat looks kind of weird. It's kind of squished a lot. Um, it can come off in certain places, which I guess that's not too bad, but like, it has squished. I mean, when I got it, it was also squished. By, but by the way, spoilers for I guess the end when I say everything. I'm not gonna say it right now because that would be a weird place to put it. Uh, the face is regular. Obviously, he has green. Green skin. D is it green here? Ugh. What? What? I mean, I don't think you're gonna be taking off the pants anytime, but he has yellow legs. Um, okay. O okay. His teeth are cool and unique. Um, you can see that he has, like, a little gold chain there. That's kind of cool. Uh, he also has this little buckle right here behind his beard which his beard is a little weird because like right back here it's hard and scratchy so yeah and you could probably see that oh no his beard is falling off so that's awkward anyways um i'm gonna have to find a fix for that beard um i guess just don't mess with that that much but uh the there seems to be an actual working buckle. So, I mean, there wouldn't be another place on the plush to attach it to, but you know. You know, just 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 for the fashion, you know. Uh the shirt Uh yeah, he's yellow all the way underneath. I I don't know what you would do with that information, but I don't know. I thought it was kind of weird. He has a little leg strap right there. Overall, a pretty cool plush, uh, other than I think the one that's probably the weirdest and could cause the most damage long term is the beard. So I guess just be very careful with a beard if you do not want it to fall off. In the future, if this actually falls off completely, then I might have to sew on a custom beard. So, yeah. Pirate zombie! And now, we're going on to the first plant. And with the first plant, we have squash. Oh yeah. His simplistic look is very nice, yet he's still nice. So not really much to go over this. Um, he has the green stem that's stuffed on top. Uh, he has the little thing. It's a little strangely stuffed at the top, I would say. Um, nice detail for the bottom squash look. The face is amazing, obviously. <laughs> so yeah uh yeah there's not really much to say about the squash but he is a very he is a very cool dude so yeah huh? let's go on to the second and last plush of the, the what whatever and the last plush is a plant known as cattail yes a very cool uh plush and a very cool plant, uh, one of my favorites, because, you know, it's a cat, and it's also very overpowered, and fun, and awesome, and very helpful. Anyways, uh, let's go over the attributes. Uh, this part right here is, uh, strangely not stuff, but, I mean, you don't have to stuff it there, I guess. Suction cup, just like the rest of them. A little lightly stuffed for the little pointer there. Um, yeah, um, the ears are nice, pretty sure you can flap this down, yeah. Uh, nice detail on the face, very nice, uh, and of course it has the little four-leafed stem that most plants do, or I guess most of them have a three-leaf stem, closer to a lily pad, I guess, so then it can float on water. Yeah, cattail! So, um, I'm going to go quickly over comparisons because this is taking a long time. COMPARISON! 
So we're kind of going to go quickly and awkwardly over um, comparisons, just looking at them like this, next to a pea shooter, and then I guess next to a Metal Mario, because I can't find my regular Mario. Anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, yep, just keep on on comparison. I mean, j just saying, Metal Mario is basically the same size as regular Mario. Yep. I guess right now is probably a good time to start going over the disclaimer of this video. I know that usually comes at the beginning, doesn't it? Well, anyways, the disclaimer of this video is... I'm sorry, but not all of these came in unboxing form. The box that I showed, completely fake. I'm sorry. Clickbait. No, please don't unsubscribe, please. I mean, really, just thinking about it, in the end, I kind of just wanted to make a big... Plants Your Zombies plush unboxing slash review just because I had the plushes. I mean, it's not that bad, right? And yes, for those who care, I will make a little side note at the end that says all of the stuff and where they came from. I'm I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't fully clickbait you, okay? These are all fairly new. But yeah, um, these came at separate times, uh, and, yeah. That's why you didn't see the little opening package, uh, cur Coney magic, you know? Anyways, um, yeah. This is the final shot! All of the plushes reviewed and technically unboxed. And for all who care, um, regular people you can leave now. And thanks for watching, but for all who care, um, these two, kind of like how I said with the flags before, um, they were gotten as a vacation thing, um, as for the squash I got, the squash for my birthday, and as for these two chumps right here, the cattail and pirate i got those actually as an unboxing thing so yeah and for all who care again this is in the order that i actually got them so yeah first cowboy then squash then beach flag zombie then cattail then pirate for all who are like hey why are you telling us all this we don't really care well this is really just for kind of Kinda clickbaiting you. I don't like saying that I clickbaited you because I don't really think that I did. It was more of just I Technically I did take them out of a box and reviewed them and I'm pretty sure the review is all you really cared about So, um, I hope that's true and I hope that you enjoyed watching Uh, if you watched all the way to this poor part in the unboxing Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Um, I, I guess you could subscribe if you want. We're getting close to 50 subscribers. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching if you watched all this way, and, uh, have a great rest of your day.